School from WFSB3. This is the Eyewitness Sports Friday Night Frenzy. From our broadcast studios, welcome right here to Friday Night Frenzy. I'm Channel 3. We're glad you're with us tonight. I'm Joe Zoe. And I'm Unqua Sonia. We've got highlights from boys and girls, basketball, and so much more. But let's start with the big game on three. You voted for it. You got it. A matchup out of the CCC. Number one boys team in the state, East Catholic, traveling to take on Farmington. Going right to the action. They got a big fella named Brady Jones. And guess what? He does a lot of that powerful finish inside in the first quarter. He does it again. And dominant performance from the big fella. More East Catholic offense in the first quarter. Samson Riley knocking it down from three. East Catholic up by six after one. Closing seconds of the first half. Angelo Macaron knocking down the three-pointer right before the buzzer. Just a two-point game at half. Let's jump to the fourth quarter. Farmington. Beal goes back door to Macaron. Reverse is good. What a game for Angelo Macaron. That's 27. Rodriguez. Gets his pass taken away. Hawkins in front, throws it down. Back to a one point game. Timeout Farmington. The Riverhawks needed a stop and a bucket for the upset, but the Eagles future Bobcat put the game away. Rodriguez with space. Riley open for three. He's got it. Samson Riley with a huge shot. And it's 54 50 East Catholic. The Quinnipiac commit finished with 18 points. Ray Jones pulls down the offensive board. He had a game high 21 points, 14 boards, and the Eagles put it away. They hold off Farmington 58 to 53. The two-time state champs now 11 and 1. When we come to town, uh, we know we're going to get everybody's best punch. We say, hey, this is the Super Bowl every every night, so you always got to be ready. And tonight it was a closer than we wanted it, and. Uh, you know, we said in the huddle, this is great because we don't have a lot of nights like these, and this is the ch this training ground that we're going to need for the postseason. Even when we were close, it was a close game. They were scoring buckets. We all stick together. We don't blame each other. We keep on playing. Well, a lot of people like led me last year, so in these big moments, I already know what to do after watching that from last year. So I just do my role. All right, out to Tolland. A couple of winning streaks on the line. Plainville, winners of three in a row against Tolland. Coming to the game on a four-game winning streak. Plainville gets right out fast. Joey Vasquez, the drive, the bank, the basket. And then Tolland's Ben Russell. Far corner, three ball. Yep, good. Tolland, now watch how they work it. Kyle Vandenmetter with the finishing layup. And this one's close. Plainville's Brady Wazorjek. Stop, pop, yep, good. Here comes Cam Lumia. Smooth J. The game is tied here early in the quarter. Plainville's Christian Marfia with the rebound layup plus the foul. It's a big second half for Tolland. The Eagles win it 61-41. They are 7-6. and six. How about this big game out of the SEC? Hill House of New Haven taking on West Haven in the second half. Academics had a one-point lead, and here's how they'd add to it. Thomas Glover, look at that floater for two. Hill House ahead on the road, and they'd get more. Look at Eric Jones from beyond the arc. Thank you. And then later on, more academic magic. A tough move inside. The hoop, the harm. Hill House looking good in West Haven tonight. But the Blue Devils would not go away without a fight. Brian Tillman gets the pass, drives in, and gets the tough layup for two. West Haven would pull within 10 later in the game, but it House had all the answers. Another chance from behind the arc here. The academics bury the three-pointer. Big win on the road for Hill House. They beat West Haven 68 to 51. Hill House now 10 and 3 on the season. West Haven falls to 9 and 5. All right, how about another matchup out of the CCC? Simsbury at home tonight hosting Newington. Trojans had an early lead in this one, but Newington comes back. Sean Hudson all the way by himself after the turnover. He puts it home for the nice layup. The Nor'easters are back in front. Simsbury trying to hang around in this one. Will Gills with the pass to Ryan Donahue, and he knocks the shot down from beyond the arc. This one's going to be close at the half. So we go to the second half. Newington starting to pull away. Another three-pointer right here. This one courtesy of Josiah Sims. Newington gets the win on the road over Simsbury. 58-41. They are now 6-8. and eight. 
Sinsbury falls to three and nine. Let's go to Waterbury, a matchup out of the NVL. Crosby taking on Watertown. Crosby back in the top 10 this week, showing why they got to stay there. Jaden Benjamin gets the pass and hits it from downtown. Crosby up 14 to three, and it only got bigger. It's Benjamin, I should say, later on getting the pass, spotting up, and another trade ball. Part of a big win for Crosby, easily beating Watertown on the road 92 to 42. Crosby now 11 and two on the year.